Hey Libra, it's Goddess Puff, and we're about to find out if they will reach out to you or if you should reach out to them. All right, Libra, let's get it started. Spirit, will Libra's person reach out to them or should Libra reach out to their person? Will Libra's person reach out to them or should Libra reach out to their person? All right, let's pull and see. Nature communication, flower energies, fairy energies, elemental messengers. This card kind of slid out, so I'll see what it is. Follow your own good advice. Trust yourself. You know what is best for you. Okay, overall energy. Growing up. Wanting to grow in experience. A rejection of perpetual youth. You are not naive to this situation at all. You see this person, place, or thing for what it is. I feel like the only problem is you're overthinking it. It's, and spirit is telling you to ground. But let's get more details. <clears throat> Will Libra's person reach out to them? Or should Libra reach out to their person? Will Libra's person reach out to them? Or should Libra reach out to their person? All right, let's pull and see. Five of Swords. You should not reach out to them. Because there's nothing but conflict and disappointment. Trying to win at all costs. You can't argue with someone who's trying to win. Four potions, uninterested. Maybe this person's currently messaging you, trying to argue with you, and you've been ignoring them. Six of candles, yeah, they're just trying to win. They're trying to get your attention. They want to get your attention. Maybe they couldn't get your attention other ways, so now they're trying to be nasty about it. Three of cups, because they want to reunion. They want to be successful with reuniting with you. And the sun card. So you could be in the spotlight. You could be very successful getting a lot of attention and this person wants back in and you're uninterested. They get angry by the fact that you are you don't want them. They see you getting a lot of attention and then they try to offer you their cup and you're like, no. Overall energy is the four of wands. So there's something about a home, marriage, or union. You could be separated. You could be married but separated. <clears throat> and... You guys separated because of an argument. This person is going to reach out. They want to win. They want to be successful. It could be very public. They could message you and ask you for your hand in marriage on social media in front of everyone. Clarify this message for my Libras. I feel like there is going to be a victory with this person, honestly. There's going to be a union. There's going to be a reunion here. And things are going to be successful. I feel like you guys just had an argument. Clarify this. But it's something about a, a cycle. Being naive, perpetual youth, childishness. I feel like you know exactly what to do in this situation. You just got to apply it. And not be like naive or immature about it. Alright, this is the last shuffle, I swear. Yeah, there was some um there was some type of con there's this person's been trying to get in and speak to you for a minute. I feel like this situation is about being right. The overall energy is the ten of pentacles. This is your person, four of wands, this is your person. This is your person, but there's some stupid conflict. Yeah, you walked away from a hurtful argument, trying to win at all costs, shady, nasty, manipulative. It was some, I don't feel like this person is toxic or anything. You just had a bad argument and you left. You can't run away every time you have an argument, especially if you live with someone or you're married. Um, clarifying the five of swords is the eight of cups. Someone left after an argument. Ace of pentacles. Stable new beginning. Clarifying the four of potions as the two of swords. Tower. Yeah, you, you're blocking out this person. And, okay, after an argument, someone left the home or left the situation. 
and doing so caused a tower moment. Clarifying the Six of Wands is the King of Cups. Someone realized that what they said was very wrong and they changed their ways. Two of Pentacles. So this per who this person is coming. This person's coming for you. Okay, Libra. Clarifying the Three of Cups is the Devil. Uh, Capricorn. Knight of Pentacles. This person is obsessed with reuniting with you. I mean, nothing's going to keep them from you. So are they going to reach out? Yes. Nothing's going to keep this person from you. Clarifying the sun is the Knight of Swords. This person's coming in hot in the chariot. Girl, let me tell you how this person's not playing with you. I think, I'm sorry. I don't want to drag nobody here. That's not my place. But Spirit's telling you to grow up. You got into an argument. You ran off. Like a child. You need to follow your own good advice and grow up. I feel like there's somebody who don't want to hear that from me. And you probably like, girl, shut up. And you're going to click off, but you're going to be right back. Because I, I make sense. You're going to click off right now, but you're going to come back and watch it later. They're going to pull up at the door like this. Until you get your ass in the car. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's how they're going to pull up on you. They're going to be like, look, girl, get in this car. Get in this car. Now, I ain't for nobody trying to be controlling or anything. That's not what this is. Y'all had a dumb argument over some dumb stuff and you ran off like, like a child. You ran off from a stable beginning. Like I feel like the argument was over this Ace of Pentacles. Maybe it was over a job offer or a choice or something. It was over something good. Ace of Pentacles. You argued over an Ace of Pentacles. Maybe it was somebody's job choice or something. Maybe someone got offered a job somewhere else or someone picked a job you didn't want them to pick or something. It was something about a job, a career choice. And you got in an argument with this person and ran off. And they're going to pull up on you like, get your ass in this car and stop playing with me. We just moved into this house. We just got married. Don't you be... Get... I ain't going to say it again. <laughs> they're going to pull up on you. But you got the six of wands and the chariot. You could be dealing with the cancer. This, some, this person loves you. And this is going to be successful. It's going to be victorious. The overall energy for both is the four of wands and the ten of pentacles maybe you feel like this person's gonna start working at this place and they're gonna become an unstable energy you're gonna feel like they're gonna play you but they're not this person is not gonna play you now For some of you, I feel like you walked away from a player in the past and you got a new stable beginning with this person and you're making this person pay for something that the past did to you. I feel like there's also an energy from your past, a toxic energy that had you in a third party. It's going to try to come back. Blah, no. You're going to move forward with the right person. But at the center of this reading is the Knight of Cups, someone offering their love. I feel like it's very public. I feel like this is about balancing work, your work-life balance. I feel like there's something about someone being very successful and getting a lot of attention. And maybe that caused an argument. I feel like in this situation, you were boogie. And you're like, look at the face he's making. Like, I'm leaving. I'm mad at you. And they're like, they're trying to block the door. Like, where are you going? Stop. <laughs> Chill. <laughs> and you ran off. But they're going to come pick you up. Because this person is here for a long time. Not a good time, but a long time. Okay. There's something about an earth sign and a fire sign. There's a Capricorn here. There's a Cancer here. We do have the sun. So Leo as well. 
I feel like there's you got two options, kind of. There's a toxic person from your past who wants a reunion and reconciliation, but there's someone here that you know is the right one for you. You know this person. I mean, it's undeniable. They've never hurt you or done anything wrong to you. Like, they're obsessed with getting back with you and they're going to this water sign or this cancer. And then there's a toxic earth sign or Capricorn. So to answer your question, yes, they are going to reach out with you. And one person not playing with you. If you married or you live with someone, you better take your ass home. <laughs> They're not playing with you. They got the Ten of Pentacles for you. Okay. But let me get you a final Oracle card message. So follow your own good advice. If you, if a friend came to you with this situation, what would you tell them? Trust yourself. You know what is best for you. So don't even listen to me. If you know someone is toxic or not for you or playing games or being manipulative or anything toxic, if you know that, then, you know, get away from them. But I truly feel like this person that you're dealing with, someone, if you live with them or you're married, this is the person for you. But let me get your final Oracle card message for my Libra. Final oracle card message for my Libras, please, spirit. Whoa. Okay, this hopped out. Become aware of all your feelings in this moment, both physical and emotional. But I'm going to shuffle one more time because I feel like, I mean, that popped out, but... Ooh, that's why they said it. Become aware of all your feelings at this moment, both physical and emotional, because it's telling you to follow your own good advice. Trust yourself. You know what is best for you. So become aware of all your feelings in this moment. Trust your judgment. Overall, release tension from every muscle in your body and relax into this moment. Okay, sorry I'm rushing. I drank a lot of tea and water today and I have to use the bathroom. So I send you all peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.